Hi, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Yes, this is AD in Graphics. Today, I just want to freely show you how to design a church flyer like this, and no problem about that. You know, you just have to keep up with this. So let's see how we can design something like this. So the first thing I have to do is to come and pick a document, and I will leave it as this one, as I usually do. Then I will call it church flyer. Okay flyer like this and then I'll come to image then I'll rotate it to 90 clockwise like this okay then the first thing I have to do is to come up with my background so I create a group and I'll group in in so the first thing I have to do is to come and pick this image over there so I'll just go over and then pick that particular image picture okay this is it so I'll just transform it like this and then I'll move it in like this okay then the next thing I have to do is to come and pick another picture which is this and then I'll just move that one to in like that and I'll have it uh, let's say let me do something okay. then I'll change the blinding mode to color like this and then I'll go over there is one particular this now over here too then I'll just rotate that one vertical like this like this then I'll change that one to color then I'll have something like this you get that so the next thing I have to do is to group these two things together then I'll come and introduce You change it to screen like this then the next thing I have to do is that I have to flip the angle so that I'll have it like this so that this red will be here and this one will be here you get that so 4 and the 4 can do angle minus 3 can also do so I'll have it like this okay so I'll group it in like that Okay, so I just call it top. Then the next thing I have to do is to bring in this particular picture over here, and that picture should be somewhere here. Okay, then I'll introduce another uh, this thing, another color, and that color should be this color, like that. And that color should be somewhere here and this one should follow you get that so this one I'll just make it go in inside it so let's see something over this one I'll bring it out then I'll create a clipping mask so that it can only work with only this one only the top best and then I'll make adjustment this layer I'll just move it in like that to have something like this and then I'll come over here then I'll make this one 30 so that it will go in like that okay go in like that then I'll have something like this so the next thing I have to do again is to introduce another this thing I'll click here, then I'll come to create the map, and then I'll come and pick some create the map over here. Yes, and I'll change it to what soft. Okay. Then this two, I'll group it. Then what I have to do is to add a layer mask to it. This one should be black. Then I'll just hold shift to make it go in small like this. It means that I am feeding it. Okay. So I have something like this over there. Yes. So I'll have this. Then I'll bring it in. So there is my background that I would like us to use. Okay. 
so the next thing I have to do is to come up with this then I'll put it over here then I'll just come up with this one too then I'll place it over here okay and then the next thing I have to do again is to pick this one and then come up with place it over here like this okay so so I'll just come over and then pick the image over here then I'll just transform it like that then I'll place it over here what I have to do is to fill it in so I'll add a layer mask to it then I'll come and pick my gradient tool tool over there and I'll just fill it in like that okay yes so the next thing I have to do is that I have to come and pick the distance over there then I'll just paste it in then I'll change the font to gradient map and then I'll just transform it very bigger like this okay then I want it this way very bigger like this then I'll change the color to, 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 to this and then I'll come and pick another one which is nice then I'll just come and paste that one to over there and then it should be somewhere here but I'll change the distance to this then I'll just reduce it to somewhere like this and I'll change the color to white okay so I'll have something like this okay so we are just getting to the end of the tutorial so I just want to make this one coming like this okay so the next thing I have to do this one I have to add I have to draw some shadow to it and the shadow should be this way and it's okay then I'll click OK yes so for us not to get the tutorial very long the background matters I just have to come and copy it the whole of this just have to copy it, all of that over there like that so that I'll just come and paste it in like this okay so I'll have it like this and then I'll just transform this one down like this to have it like this Okay, so gradually we are just coming to the end of the tutorial. So the, let's check the next thing that we have to do is to pick the pastor's name. He's the overseer for, and then we come and place it over somewhere here like that. So we have just come to the end of the tutorials and seen how the background has been designed, the background has been made, it's such a wonderful tutorial that you would like to know more about. Yes. So that is the background and that is how I come by that. Yes, and it is beautiful. Okay. So Thank you very much for watching. This is ABM Graphics. Have a nice day. Bye bye.